Have you ever wondered what the most obscure backrooms levels are? Like which ones out of the infinite list of levels are actually the weirdest? Well, I'm sure you are wondering that. That's why you clicked on the video. Anyways, today I will be talking about three backrooms levels that I think are genuinely the most obscure and unlike any other levels ever. Sit back, strap in, and get ready to hear about some levels that I guarantee you didn't know existed. Or if you did, you forgot about because these are so obscure. Let's get into it, shall we? So first of the video, I want to go over level negative 922, or the Tranquil Disruption, as it's been nicknamed. The level, as you can tell, is so far deep into the negative section of the back rooms that it is so volatile and corrupted to the point where it's nearly impossible to explore. The level has no classification graphic and is described like this. The tranquil disruption is where endless staircases exist in their negative form. It is an abyss unlike any other and has no boundaries or reality that can end or begin. The level's air and atmosphere is crackled with static energy and the very strands of normal existence are broken. People who are dumb enough or unlucky enough to get sent to this level will be trapped in it inside of its never-ending expanse of glitched colors and fragmented shapes. The sound this level makes is a very loud crackling noise, almost like a static TV exploding, but more harsh and constant. And the entire place is just one big glitchy void. Now, you might think, Burley has a ton of levels that are void levels. Why is this one different? Well, let me, let me, let me learn you something. Let me tell you right now. When you fall into the level, you will have absolutely no sense of direction. You won't be able to know if you're walking up, right, down, left, sideways, and eventually you'll just fade into this expanse. All of your memories and anxieties will fade with you too. And the problem with this level, why it's so dangerous and why it's so unique, is that even though it looks and behaves very dangerously, like I just told you, it actually feels completely safe to any wanderer who comes here. You feel this sense of calm come over you, almost like you've reached your final destination. You just want to walk deeper and deeper into the void as far as you can, despite how bad the static actually hurts. I mean, you think a place like this that is literally breaking and collapsing would be horrific and annoying to be in, but it's not. There is no shape, no smell to the level, and that is what lures people inside. It is this ever-longing draw to walk farther into it to completely disappear. The level ends with this quote and is described as the true embodiment of indescribability, which means there's legitimately no way to say exactly how it is. And any description that's been given is just from like third-hand accounts. Anyone who tries to take video or pictures in this level the files have ended up jumbled and staticky, and the videos that you are seeing are just completely glitched out and voided out. It's believed that time and space doesn't work here, and neither does gravity, so you're kind of always floating around and, and not walking. You have no control. But as far as we know, this level will never be able to be described properly, and it's just a never-ending, calming, lulling, glitchy void that people are drawn to, like a moth to a flame. Either by accident, or on purpose, this level consumes everyone who comes here. Next for the video isn't quite as a depressing one as the last one, but it's still gross, don't get me wrong. This is level negative 51. Now, this level is a very strange and obscure entry, and there's not one single level like it out there. Level negative 51, or the Horde, as it's been nicknamed, has been given a class 4 difficulty because it's unsafe, unstable, with a high entity count, and it's also full of trash literal trash. It starts like this. The air carries a light kiss of sweat and mildew. I don't have a mask, so my throat is being scorched by what I believe to be particulate rabbit pellets. My skin feels like it's coated in spit and slime and vomit. I dare not scratch as I dread an infection." End quote. So yeah, nasty place we got here. What I just read, that note, was found on a wanderer's body, which apparently was covered in holes. Nice. The level takes the appearance of a lane of old, dilapidated, inaccessible garages. 
The garages on the left side of the level have rotting, soggy wooden pillars and pallets leaning against the surfaces. If at all possible, it is recommended to wear a respirator or a mask or a hazmat suit, if you got one here, to avoid the trash and the air being inhaled into your nose. The sky above this alleyway is full of dust and ash from an unknown source, and it's very, very common to get infections because of this. And also, that slime substance that can get on you could give you an infection as well. More on that later. As you walk over the trash heaps in this alleyway, you'll see more alleys splitting off and more garages open all of which are filled to the brim with trash and waste and garbage and just disgusting refuse. There are strange liquids that drip everywhere and that may or may not be melted individuals. We don't know. It, it could just be liquid. The weather here is hot and humid and it feels like a very hot summer day, which just makes that smell and feeling worse. Many people who have been here say that you need to duct tape your pants and sleeves closed. That way, quote, something doesn't crawl up inside them, end quote. Okay, so it's, it's pretty obvious that there's some kind of entity or some kind of creature that lurks in the trash here. The final paragraph of this entry says, quote, you do not have to commit to exploring this filthy and cluttered labyrinth. You can still turn back and forget this place ever existed. Some things in the back rooms are best left unexplored, left to rot, left to be forgotten. Of course, some of the hazards mentioned above is the least of your worries. End quote. So take that how you may. I guess I don't know. I guess there's something else here. Now past that paragraph is a picture of a strange purple roach, which apparently is infesting the trash here. Now we don't know if this is the only creature or if there's others, but this is what is eating flesh and causing those holes in people. It's thought that the people here collapse from exhaustion and the heat and the smell and the infection and other things like that. Who knows? All we know is that level negative 51 in the back rooms is disgusting and you should never go here, period. Lastly for this video is level negative 45. Isn't it interesting that the weirdest, most obscure levels are negative ones? Because all the levels in this video have been negative. Anyways, level negative 45 is classified as a class undetermined because of its properties and its unknown information that cannot be attained. It takes the appearance of a huge expanse of interconnected stairways, hallways, and things like that that lead to random small places, whether it's to the outside in the woods, or to bedrooms, or to bathrooms, or to other corridors. The staircases lead to them. Now, the rooms that these staircases lead to are oftentimes dead ends and are very small, which is pretty weird since staircases lead to them. You'd think it'd be a bigger place, but most of the time, they're dead ends. The level gives every wanderer who comes here a sense of intense isolation and intense loneliness. This might be because it's almost impossible to meet people here, or since the level itself is small and cramped, we're not sure. Pretty much all of the level, all of the corridors and rooms have been described as cramped by everybody that's gone here. The level is also relatively humid, and it stays around 35 degrees Celsius, or 95 Fahrenheit, which means you could actually pass out from exhaustion just from exploring the level. I mean, literally, just walking around the level would be like doing a bunch of cardio, because you're walking up and down stairs constantly. Some stairs lead to liminal-looking bedrooms, some lead to tiled bathrooms, all of which either dead-end or open up to another strange staircase, which will lead to another strange small room. There are no colonies here, and to enter, you have to find a staircase that leads out of the pool rooms, from the pool rooms, and you'll end up walking into a tiled bathroom here with the same tiles from the pool rooms itself. To exit this level, you have to wander the infinite expanse of staircases and small corridors that, until you find a room with level zero's wallpaper. If you find this, you'll be able to no clip back to level zero and start your journey all over again, but at least you won't be in a negative level then. I, I, I'd probably do it to be honest. But yeah, this level is an infinite jigsaw puzzle of staircases, tiny rooms, and liminal corridors with no purpose, seemingly no engineering, no planning. Some of the staircases dead end, some of them lead to random things. It, it's just very strange, very obscure, and just, a, just another day of exploring the back rooms, y'all. All right, those were three levels that I think are the most obscure ones in the lore. If I missed any, or if you want to see a part two, 
let me know in the comments. It's where you all give me your ideas. Let me know what you thought of these three levels, which one is your favorite. And thank you all so much for the support on all the videos. Love and appreciate y'all so much. Check the links in the description if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. Well, you already follow me here, but on my other channels, Brugly Toogly or Spoogly. If you don't, you don't have to. It's whatever. Make sure to have a good day and make sure to tell somebody that you love and appreciate them. With that said, I will see you all later. Bye.